We're going to take a look at how to add a movie to an ePrime program. You can see the basic structure on the left, and I've started now by opening the trial list and creating an attribute name file name. I have three videos stored in the same directory as the experiment, so I'm going to put each of their names here. Now we'll open the trial proc and add a stimulus. On this slide, we will place a movie object and adjust the size according to how large we want it on the screen. On the sub-object properties, we will reference the file name attribute in the file name box. and we will create some text boxes here that will actually just be used as squares. Change the border so you can see them. And we'll copy and paste. These are the areas that the participant will be able to click in uh, in order to choose which option they want. And underneath them we're going to put the choices. And in this particular experiment the participant is being asked what kind of distribution is being shown in the video. So we'll put those choices across the bottom. Once we've done that, we'll rename the slide so we know what it is. Change the input to mouse and duration to infinite. We're going to add a brief inline script before stimulus. And all this is going to do is show the mouse cursor on the screen. So to do that, we just type mouse.showcursor true. And we'll rename it so we know what that inline is for. Back on the trial procedure, we're going to add another inline. And this is going to be for what is called a hit test. Now, the script for the hit test, I'm actually borrowing from a program that the ePrime company has on their website. There are a lot of samples on there that are really helpful if you don't know a lot about scripting. So, we will borrow part of that from them. We'll copy that and paste into our program. It's important to go through when you borrow script from someone else, it's important to go through and ensure that they named everything the same as you did. For example, the slide needs to be named stimulus. Uh, the different text boxes need to be the same. And since that was commented out, we're going to just get rid of it. Back on the slide, I'm just checking to make sure that the text boxes are named the same as they are in the hit test. And now I'm just going to go back through and ensure that everything has the appropriate settings.
Now we're going to generate the script and see what happens. Okay, the error we got is because we are missing a label. And in the hit test script, it references a label called reduce dim. So when the program reached that point, it didn't know what to return to. Now, if we look at the script, reduce dim will be down at the bottom. There it is, right there. Um, and when a, when the subject does not click one of the boxes, then that's where it'll go back to. So now we'll run the program. And this probably looks a little different on your screen, but in ePrime it would of course be full screen. You can see how each box turns black when it's clicked. And that's how you put a movie in ePrime.